Hi, today we're going to see how to load Swart Groove and Swart Plug within Swart Studio. Before starting, we should make sure we have the latest versions, which can be downloaded from swartsystems.com slash support slash updates. Alright, so Swart Studio comes with different uh, uh, built-in instruments. We can see them in Tools, Options and Sound Engines. We have the list here. So what we'll do is we'll create a new one for Swar Groove. In the plugin path, we click on this browse button. Then we go in library, audio, plugins, and VST. There they are. On Windows, the path would be like programs, Steinberg, VST plugins, and they will be appearing as DLLs. So we select Swar Groove. We'll name the instrument accordingly. We can set a specific icon. And then we press Add New. As we see here, the instrument appears in the list now. And then we press OK. We'll now create a new MIDI track. And when we select the instruments, we see that there's an option for Swar Groove there. Alright, so we click on the icon and there the user interface appears. We can open one groove, say Garba, this one. Alright, we can play it. Okay, so here we can see that we have two uh, tracks, additional ones, drums and bass. We're going to see how to use them as well. For that we can simply create two new MIDI tracks in uh, Swar Studio. We'll select drums in the first track and electric bass on the second. Then we can simply drag the whole track there and there. We can just try them, audition them. Alright, so now we can play them along with the Swar Groove Indian Instruments, we click on Sync to Host. It's as simple as that. So now we are going to integrate Swar Plug. So let's close this. And we go again to Tools, Options, Sound Engines. And we'll do exactly the same thing Library, Audio, Plugins, VST. There we select Swar Plug. Rename it, change the icon, and click on Add New. You can see it's there, and we press OK. Select a new MIDI track, open it, select Swar Plug, it's there. So here we have the list of available instruments. We can select one that we want out of all of them. Say maybe Sarud. We can audition some loops. Alright, so in this case we have created a new instrument called Swar Plug. 
But what if we want to replace an existing instrument by a better version that is available in Swarp Plug? We can do that by again going back into our Tools Options Sound Engine screen. And here, let's say we want to replace the default tabla in Swarp Studio by a better version that is available in Swarp Plug. So we select tabla. Then in the plugin path, we are going to replace the default VST, going library, audio, plugins, VST. We again select Swarp Plug here. And then we'll see here what we'll fill in the program number later. We click on apply. That will change the default plugin. So we click OK, press new MIDI track, tabla by default, and then when we click on the icon here, we see that it's Swarp Plug that is loaded. However, the tabla is not preloaded. We have just the default instrument selected. What we have to find out is the order of tabla within this list. I've just counted before. In this case, Tabla is at the 64th position. So what we'll do is close this, go back to our Tools Options Sound Engine screen, select again our Tabla, and here in the program number, we'll enter 64. And apply, OK. We'll remove this track. Now when we create a new MIDI track, we have Tabla by default, we click on the icon and there's our plug loads already set to Tabla. We can just try by dragging one Tabla loop on the track and playing it. Alright, so this is how you would add not only Swar Groove and Swar Plug, but any other VST instruments in Swar Studio. Of course, you have to pay attention to the way you update these instruments. In case you face any problem, you always have the option to scratch everything and start again. To do that, we can just close here Swar Studio. Then you can go in Library, or Application Support. Swar Studio, and there you see an instruments.dat file that contains the mappings to the instruments. On Windows, that would be located in program data slash Swar Studio slash instruments.dat. So we can just trash this mappings file, and we go back to so our studio, then we go back to tools options, sound engines, and there we can check that our mappings have disappeared and we are back to factory settings. Okay, so that was it for this topic. Uh, should you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at support at Thanks for your time.